my channel it's your girl Shania and I'm back with another video and as you can see honey today I am bringing you luxurious inches okay luxurious inches on a budget on a budget because you know you girl ain't about to go all out so for today's video I'm going to show you guys how I installed and got this cute sleek wavy long 22 inch ponytail girl yes I said 22 inches 22 inches honey 22 inches but anyway yes girl this ponytail was from Amazon it's not a sponsored video and yeah I'm swooping them edges sleeking back we got a little scrunchy look going on this high ponytail is high quality very very nice and very very affordable so if you guys want to go ahead and see how i got this look just keep on watching but first hello if you are new hello if you are new Make sure y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that like button if you like this video and make sure you hit that post notification bell, honey, so that you are notified when I post any new videos, which I got many of them coming for y'all in these next couple of weeks. So please stay tuned for your returners. What is up? What is popping y'all? I am here. I am here and we are bringing you this look today. So if y'all ready to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. Hey y'all, so I already went ahead and prepared my hair. I just blow dried my hair on a warm setting and I also used this Joyco Defy Damage Protective Shield just to guard my hair against any um, thermal damage because I don't use a lot of heat on my hair. I don't really do a lot of protective styles on my hair either. So yeah want to make sure that you use a heat or a thermal protectant on your hair when you're blow drying or using any heat just so you don't damage your hair yeah so we are going to get right into this video i am going to be doing a sleek ponytail trying um by area i'm gonna say area curly wavy ponytail um looks like this it is from amazon this was very 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 inexpensive i believe this one was like 9.99 and i have never tried the amazon ponytails so i'm gonna try it and i got this in a 1b which that is my hair it is like a black brown but sometimes black browns aren't the right color but this is a 22 inch ponytail we're just gonna go ahead and see what she looks like Okay, so in the box, the hair comes in this little bag right here. And then it just has a picture of how you would install the hair, what it looks like afterwards. And then another of the same thing. And it comes with two little packs of bobby pins, which I probably will be using. I will show you what you're gonna need today. You are going to need obviously your drawstring ponytail and then I just used a blow dryer. You're gonna need some got to be glued free spray and some eco styling gel of your choice. I use the olive oil one just because I feel like it works best in my hair but I act like I've even tried the other ones because I really haven't but anyways. You're also going to need a bristle brush that has like the firm bristles to get that slick look that we're looking for and like a dividing brush that's what i call this because there's so much space in between each bristle but you can just use like a denman brush you guys are probably more um aware of the denman brushes so yeah this is what my hair is looking like after i went ahead and blow dried it this is not fully blow dried I do like to keep a little bit of moisture in my hair when I'm doing these types of styles. But yeah, my hair has grown so much. Literally, a little over a year ago, I shaved all of the outside of my head. I had like a tapered cut, but it was completely shaved all the way around. And this is literally a year and a couple months worth of growth. And I'm very pleased. So, this is what we're looking like beforehand. 
So yeah, you don't have to blow dry your hair before. I just find that the products smooth over easier when I do blow dry my hair. Although I do have that type of hair texture that is like very mixed. So certain par parts of my hair are coarse and certain parts of my hair are very like loose and curly, but yeah. So we are just gonna try and manage today. My hair also is a type of hair where once you add water and certain types of product, it will start to get wavy and curl up. So I do have to be careful with how much product I use, but I am very, very generous with my products. So first of all, I'm literally just going to start off by using my eco styling gel and kind of smoothing some all the way around the perimeter of my hair. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm I'm being very generous with this product, like I'm putting a lot. So if you guys see me like looking over here, it's because my mirror is there, but I'm gonna try my best not to have to do that and just look in the camera to give you guys my undivided attention. So now after smoothing some of the eco styling gel in my hair, I do, especially in the back because that I did have a tapered cut. So the back was definitely shorter than the front. So I just part it in the back just a little bit, just like this. And I'm going to take more of my eco styling gel and just run it up the back just to make sure that those back pieces are really getting slicked down. You can do this any way you want. You can part it in different sections. I've never tried that. I don't like to do that because I can't grip it that well. I'm just good at gripping just all the hair at one time. I don't know how, but I do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep applying that gel and rubbing it all throughout my hair. Okay, and now before I go ahead and actually start to brush up, I am going to take some of the edges that I like to leave out. I'm gonna use a comb and just kind of like brush out the edges a little bit just so that they don't get stuck with all of the gel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take out these little edges here that I like to leave out. I try not to leave out too much because I don't want it to look bad. So I'm just going to take out a little bit of this hair. Okay, that's good enough. And then I'm literally just going to start using my bristle brush. Really make sure that it is a brush that has a firm texture just so that it really gets that sleek look that you're looking for. And I'm just gonna start brushing upwards. As you can see, my hair is already kind of waving because of the gel my hair just naturally kind of starts to do that as soon as i put something um some types of product in my hair so i'm just gonna try my best to really make sure that i flick it down good enough i like my ponytails to sit with my buns to sit like kind of towards the back but on top if you guys know what i'm saying you guys will see once i'm actually done brushing it up but where the blue brush is going to come in handy, the Denman brush, is by really making sure that all the hair is coming up together because 
sometimes the hair is not brushing all the way up so you're left with lumps and you don't want lumps when you're trying to do a sleek look that's just that just makes sense so you just every so often want to run the other brush through your hair and my hair is really extremely thick as you guys probably saw so i'm just going to continue to brush my hair upwards Right here, you're gonna see me start to put a little bit more gel just to make sure that those flyaways from the uneven parts of my hair are getting laid down because, girl, we wanna make sure that this look is sleek, girl. I mean, sleek. All right, so now I think I got it like I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, I just use a small hair tie, it works for my hair. Sometimes people double hair ties um, I don't do that just because I feel like it creates too much tension on my hair and I don't want too much tension. Um, but I'm thinking this is slicked up as much as I'm going to get it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this ponytail holder in my hair. And I'm just literally going to go like this to create a bun because my hair is not long enough to try and braid so I just create a bun and then I just kind of twist the hair around itself to get my bun as small as possible and this is what it looks like nice and sleek So now what I do is I start to add some got to be glued free spray where I see the flyaways. So I just add that in the problem areas, which I know are in the back because my hair doesn't like to completely lay down. And then sometimes on the sides. And then I use the brush again and just lightly glaze over the top of my hair with the brush. I don't press really hard, just lightly push it up towards the top of the bun. And then where my blow dryer comes in handy is got to be glued free spray. Obviously it's going to dry when I use a cool setting. So I'm just going ahead and turn this on a cool setting and go ahead and just let that dry so that those hairs lay completely flat. Okay, so that is as good as I'm going to get the slicked part for now. I'll fix it and touch it up later if I need to, but I'm just going to go ahead and lay my edges, which if you guys want, I do have an edge tutorial on how I do my edges. So I'm going to go ahead and just take my little edge brush. This part of the comb kind of broke a little and I have new ones. For some reason, I just love using this one because you know, you just get used to using the same types of brushes and stuff all the time. So I'm just going to, to dip this into my eco styling gel. This is what I use to lay my edges. It does not flake for me. I don't know why, but it doesn't. I can have eco styling gel in my hair for about three days until it actually starts to flake. But I do hear that if you go ahead and put some oil on your hair, that it usually doesn't flake when you have the oil. So... You guys can do that if you need to. This is just my way of doing my edges. So I just dip the brush into the Eco Styling Gel and I go ahead and just do some swoops. Like 
I did with the rest of my hair, I just take this spray and where I laid my edges, I spray over that area and go ahead and use the blow dryer again on a cool setting just to set my edges in place. Okay, so I'm done laying down all the sideburns, the sideburns, all the edges. They're not going nowhere, girl. They're not going nowhere. Rub, 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 going nowhere. They are there, they are staying. They are here to stay, honey, okay? So we slayed the edges, okay? Slayed the edges. Now, we're about to get into this hair, which is the part y'all been waiting for because your girl ain't even had a chance yet. So it just comes like this, wrapped up in this little net. So we don't take her out. This hair was, like I said, like $9.99, I believe. Something like that. But it is just this nice 1B. It's got a little bit of a wave to it, which is why I actually like that my hair waves up because now it's gonna look more natural. This does have a nice flow to it and what I'm liking already is this is supposed to be synthetic but it's so soft and it barely tangles I can run my hands right through it I will put a picture of what this hair looks like on Amazon and I will be leaving a link in the description down below if you want to go and get this hair but my hand is running right through this there's a little bit of shedding but not a lot this is a hair piece that I would only wear just to go on like a date or just a day out, just if I want to do something a little extra, you know. It comes like this, assembled with the drawstring and a little pocket to put where your bun is at. But this is really nice, really bouncy, wavy texture. I love that there is movement, okay? Stiff wear, honey, stiff wear, because she is moving, okay? She's moving, sis. So we are going to go ahead and do this with the little drawstring here. I think that I might tie a knot at the end of this because there is no knot. So I might end up tying a knot at the end. But this is what it looks like when you stretch it out. There's two clips on the inside, if you guys can see that two clips one there and one there one for the front one for the back so we just gonna go ahead and freaking put this thing on this clip right in the front y'all right in the front underneath the bun make sure she is in there and secure and then put the clip in the back underneath I'm just gonna slide her right in the back. Make sure I position it well. Slide her just like that. And then I'm going to take the jawstring part and pull her nice and tight. There's the drawstring. This thing can be just a little bit complicated. But we want to take the net and make sure that it is over the ponytail before we pull the drawstring. That's one thing I feel like I don't like about this is that the netting is a little on the looser side. But if you get it right over your bun which is why you have to make your bun as small as possible so that you can cover it completely but i'm just pulling this as tight as i possibly can and then like i said i'm going to take this string here and make a knot because i feel like this is not as secure as i would like it to be so i just went ahead and tied a knot in it so that that drawstring does not come loose you know what i'm saying 
don't want it to come loose. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this string and we're going to wrap this around the ponytail. And I'm going to tuck it away and then I'm going to take a piece of the hair from the front and let's see. So a piece of the hair from the front, I'm going to just take this and wrap it around like any other drawstring ponytail. I'm just going to take this and wrap it. Now, I'm not caring what this is about to look like because what I'm going to do, honey, I don't know what you guys would do, but I'm going to go ahead and use one of those bobby pins that they gave me. And obviously I'm going to bobby pin this little strip right here down and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do because I don't really like that unfinished look of this ponytail. So what I'm going to do is, which oh my gosh, Ariana Grande vibes, like who is she? You ain't messing with nobody. Yes. Ariana Grande who? I mean like this hair because I bought it. Like yes. Literally like stiff wear, honey, because this is cute. But I'm gonna be right back because I'm gonna show you guys something that you guys probably would have thought of too, but I just think it's cute and it's gonna finish the look. So I'll be right back. Alright, y'all. So to complete this look. We got scrunchies and yeah, there you go. Boom, you got yourself a sleek ponytail with edges and a scrunchie, girl. Like the one thing, okay, another thing I will say, this is thin, it is a little thin. She's not, she's not thick, but she's, she's pretty thick, but she's not thick at the same time. Like there's a lot of hair here, but there isn't. If you know what I'm saying, like it was $9.99, so you can't really complain, so Overall, I'm gonna say for like a night out type of look, this is working, okay? This is going to work. It is also, I believe, heat resistant. So if you wanted to touch it up a little, you might be able to, but I wouldn't recommend it. I definitely wouldn't recommend it. The waves in this are super cute. And I think that if you're just gonna go out on a little debut or something, you know, um, step out for a little bit, this is perfect. And this is what she's looking like. Like I said, she's 22 inches, girl. Stiff wear because she is moving, okay? This is so cute, you guys. Like, seriously, so cute. You could probably brush it out too, just to give it more volume super easy to brush like it's literally going right through but yeah so I think overall I'm going to rate this hair I would give it like a 9 out of 10 and I would just only say 9 out of 10 because what did I expect? It literally was $9.99. So, but you know what? Area hair, you really did something, okay? You really did something. Uh, Ariana Grande, who? Like, I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it. All right, y'all, so that is it for this look. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. Follow me on my socials. They will be down in the description box below, along with the links to this beautiful 22-inch wavy ponytail from Amazon from Iria Hair. 
I just want to say again, this video was not sponsored, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you guys go down and hit that juicy red subscribe button below. Make sure you hit that post notification bell to know when I post any new videos. And I thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Stay blessed.